Why hello there. Today I will be terminating a lot of bots, gold farmers, and dumbass rune crafting boys, who are also probably bots. This account is strictly for slapping botters, and goes by the name of, Poopy Fartas. So please, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the fucking show. Or else you might just get slapped. Here we have a perfect example for an account that should have been banned right when it selected to have the name 68 Glass 733. This dumbass robot bot has been clogging up my wilderness for far too long, and if Jagex is not going to do anything about it then I guess I will have to take action into my own hands, like I always do. Look at this dumber spot trying to act like he fits in with his stupid mask and his fancy leather pants. Dumbass spot boy you are not fooling anyone except for Jagex with the dumbass fucking name. Get your Windows 98 gold farming ass the fuck out of my wilderness bra. Look at this rat as he runs for his life. Leather pants rat man you are truly pathetic. I suggest botting chickens and cows with all the other idiots with names just like yours. Speaking of broken bots, take a look at this broken air orb bot. This bot has actually been standing here for so long that the chaos druids are not even aggro for him anymore. Wow. This broken bot will still probably go on to getting 99 magic before ever even getting banned. That's why it's my job to protect our precious runescape lands from these invasive butt chapped spider clans trying to take over our land. This is old school runescape boys. Home of the big wee wees, and the alpha male frat boys. We can't let these chumps wearing full laddie take away our freedom now can we boys? These bots are the same reason why Jagex decided to ruin their game. Do you really want that to happen again? Must I remind you chats about the squeal of fortune? Yeah that's what I thought. What I love most about killing these underground wankos is that you can tell that some of them are actually big ass noobs. Look at this guy wearing full rune tee and rune claws. It's obvious this guy is no older than the age of 37. Look at how he stands cluelessly as he gets slapped by my massive surge. Say hello to Hans in Lumbridge for me wouldn't ya bro? I hope you have a fun time realizing that you have to start all the way back at step 1. And trust me Ratman. I know it took you months to get that full rune tea. Look at all of these super restore potions that dumbass had, yet he had no saradomin brews and didn't even use his prayer against my slaps. Talk about the definition of a complete dumbass clown. Wow. Thanks rune tea boy for being a full blown moron. And yes I know a lot of you nerds are probably thinking, why don't you try to skull trick these noobs by pretending to be a chaos druid? Well stupid boys in case you didn't know Yagex made it possible to turn your attack style to hidden against other players, so that's why I rush these clowns with the quickness. You may think you are safe Addy plate boy. And you may think you are fooling geeks in Varrock by pretending to be a woman. But we all know that you are a man and that you are getting slapped right back to Goblin Boy Town. Right where you belong. Along with this rainbow boot hillbilly who looks like he should still be killing goblins in World 301. Jesus Christ this noob is actually wearing those shitty ass yellow gloves that only dumbass free to play boys think are cool. In fact, I bet a lot of you chats watching right now thought those gloves were the shit back in the day, and don't pretend like you didn't. Wow. Take a look at this cabbage cape clown who already looks extremely poor. Sorry cabbage boy but even you are not allowed to make a profit in my wilderness, 
even if you can barely kill these level 13 chaos druids with your pathetic range level. This little shat actually had 43 prayers all from goblin bones in Lumbridge. Wow! For a second it appeared that rat boy was about to make an escape, but I fired off one more massive surge that must have clapped this cluck right when he thought he was in the safe zone. Bye bye little kevs 18. I hope you have a fun time being broke because you just lost all of your arrows. Ha 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 wow. What an embarrassing performance is correct. That was probably the most embarrassing thing I have ever seen in my life. Thanks for your shitty ass arrow Kevin. I hope you have a horrible horrible day. Wow. Oh and by the way, shout out to all of my true savage members who have donated to the savage prophecy. The Church of Buttholtology is growing faster than ever and has received over $500 in donations towards a brand new slack top computer system. I would tell you boys that I am very thankful for these donations, but the truth is I'm not thankful at all. In fact, I want everyone at home to whip out your credit cards with the quickness and start sending me 90% of your monthly earnings. Yeah that's right boys. Now if you enter my wilderness you will not only be paying a 10 million coin tax fee to me and all of my savage goons, but you will also be paying me 10 million dollars in real life. And for anyone who has a problem with the Church of Buttholtology, how about you leave a comment down below, and my goons will light you up. I'm giving everybody full permission to destroy anyone in the comments who has a problem with our savage methods. You bandwagon fans will never stop the savage prophecy from pimping out of control. Soon I will have thousands, if not gazillions of savage donated dollars, and I still won't even be thankful. Nope. Not one bit. Ha 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 wow. Here it appears we have a wilderness slayer boy who decided he didn't want to pay his taxes. Not a wise decision little Billy not a wise decision at all. Thou shall not evade thy taxes or will be slapped back to the city of retards. Holy fuck boys did you see that massive surge. Little Billy thought he was going to train a little bit of wilderness slayer, but instead he got sent back to the, the town of big time clowns and lost most of his hard earned garbage. Thanks garbage can boy for having such a tiny tiny brain. Ha 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 wow. Take a look boys take a solid look. Magic amulet, leather chaps purple hat boy in the flash. Wow! This guy didn't just look like a dumbass, but he PK'd like one too. This butler boy was trying so hard to capitalize on my room crafting bots that he had no idea what to do when I started slapping him up with my massive surge. Look at these massive slaps on this young idiot. Wow! My clicks were so fast and swift that he had no idea what was going on. Run little Johnny run. But it's too fucking late. My entangle caught you just in time. Wow. Let's go boys let's go massive massive surge. Yeah that's right purple hat boy. You will never ever capitalize on these dumb mass spotters you little shat. Ha 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 wow. I slapped leather chap, magic amulet chat for a massive 37, switch those two numbers around and you got 73. And we all know what we think when we see the number 73. We think of the time that the almighty ginger chat got slapped. Bow down to the powers of the almighty buttholes. Now now boys don't think I forgot to turn up on these lemonade for loco boys. I want everyone at home to follow these precise instructions. Crack the top off of that 7-Eleven 4 Loco. Put two 5-hour energies into the 4 Loco so it has the same amount of caffeine as it did back in the day. 
shotgun the four loco boys shot and the loco. Now that I'm back from Hawaii boys we're going to be slapping up these cowboy shots harder than ever before. And let me tell you boys Hawaii was crazy as fucking shit. And I will be making a reenactment video to explain to you how psycho it truly was. Yeah that's right boys. And not to mention we have a new target who has been added to the top of the green light shot list. And no it's not Eve 11. His name is none other than Copycat Boyframed. I want everybody at home to go and comment on Frame's newest video and tell him the Buckle Army is coming for Yabra. And there won't be any Torvista boys that can try to help you stop us. I am putting out the full time green light on Grandpa Framed Boy. Move along Grandpa. This wilderness ain't big enough for the both of us you angry cowboy. Yeah, that's exactly right, brah. Ha 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 ha